Hey guys, so this one is going to be in English for my English audience, so Brazilian people please bear with me on this one. Hopefully I'll speak slowly enough for you to understand. Um, what I'm going to demonstrate now is the arbitrary wave function generator of this MSO 5000 unit that I've got here in my lab. This is my daily driver for oscilloscopes. Everyone knows that already, people who follow me for, since a long time. Uh, it's got mixed signal capabilities, also two output uh, waveform generators. It's got all the sine wave, square wave, triangular wave, anything wave it can generate up to 25 megahertz um, and 10 volt amplitude. So it's capable, when you select the arbitrary waveform generator, it's capable of loading a signal from any one of the channels. So you could actually use, let's say, two channels to load one wave into one generator and the other channel to load another wave into another in the second generator, right? So you could reproduce it without having all the setup connected. And to demonstrate this, nothing better than a DC-DC converter like this little guy here. I've got it tied up to a source and a electronic load. Um, I'm getting the electromagnetic emissions with this Rigozone NFP3 series. Um, it comes in this very nice bag, protective bag. So you've got um, electromagnetic um, probes. So this is magnetic probes and these are electric field probes. Electric field, magnetic field, and also this little um, BNC to type N converter. So you could hook it up directly to your spectrum analyzer if you have one. So this is a spo spoiler what's coming. Um, this is Rigo's own uh, spectrum analyzer. So I'm going to demonstrate a lot of things, many things this guy can do. Um, and you know, if you know this channel, we all always use uh, industry industry projects, right? So uh, I, I designed some projects for the industry. You know, I've got my company. So uh, the tests that we're going here is, are not synthetic tests. Are not only, uh, we also, uh, you know, go through the specs and do all that, but coming soon, hi, uh, real life problems, real life projects demonstrated with this guy. All right, so let's come here. Let's see, you know, Rigozo and electronic load. I use this as my daily drivers for auto automotive projects. This is my load and uh, 10 volts. It's the second one. So the second source here, 10 volts in, five volts, volts out. I'm going to load it with a half an amp. All right, so let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to put this into my little support here so that we can, you know, get our hands free. So let's get started. Um, currently I have channel one to go in. You see this little noise there because it's already turned on the DC-DC converter. I'm not loading it yet. So let's get some load, like half an amp. All right, that's quite an emission, right? Um, that's why I do not recommend this DC-DC converter at all. I've done many videos of this little guy here for EMI, EMC. Uh, if you're interested in the compliance for emissions, I also work with that in my company. So check out uh, my other videos in Portuguese, if you will. Turn on automatic translation, it will be pretty, do a pretty decent job. Um, all right, so we got this wave there. So if I turn it off, so if I turn the load off, it goes away. Um, if I turn it on, it comes back. But I want to be free from my setup. I want to just use a generator and analyze this signal without having you know, the bench occupied and uh, I could get my bench with another setup for another instrument and then I could analyze the wave, right? So how do you do that? Turn on one of the generators. Uh, currently it's already in arbitrary. You have so many options for this guy here, but I'm going to keep it in arbitrary wave. Um, you've got some options, you could load uh, the signal from any of the channels, you could load some stored um, signal, could actually create one, create your own. And this edit, this is something really nice. Uh, I'm going to show you, you not only are capable of loading real life signals into the generator, but you could edit it later. I'm going to show you, look at this. Um, let me just go through here. 
you know, phase, all stuff, settings, type, you know, we could put modulation, sweep, all that, okay, we got it, let's load it from channel 1, channel 1, load, so here's the thing, region, um, it will ask you for the region you want to load, never use a screen, like, not, not, <laughs> I have nothing against screen captures, but this might not make your signal periodic, so set up a cursor, and then you select it manually, you see here, I'm selecting like this period here, and then it repeats the period I've selected. So be careful to select the real period, because it's going to reproduce it periodically. So um, it's all done, let's hit load here at the bottom. Alright, um, I've got it hooked up, hooked up to the to channel 3 here, so I'm going to take this out, so yep. No probes, no probes. Let me get this done here. The bench. Let's change the trigger to channel three. All right. Let's turn off this channel. Look at that. Channel three, 50 millivolts per division, as just as channel one was. So it's exactly the same wave. You see the peaks are all all here. Like you've got all those peaks. And it's periodic. Look at this. Look at this. It's periodic. So I could just work with this. Look. It's just one cable. Now I can analyze this curve. And not only that. Look at this. So I can edit. I can edit this. Let's say, oh, if the emissions were higher amplitude. Look. Uh, it's got the, the, the signal here. I can change its frequency. It's currently at 190 kilohertz. So let's say I want to change it for, whoa, imagine if that was 500 kilohertz. Look at that. Let me save that. Oh no. I could save that into, you know, USB stick or internal memory, but I, I just change it to 500 kilohertz. Look at that. It's a 500 kilohertz. So let's get our counter here. Uh, let's get our counter here. Um, let's get it to channel 3. Look at that. 500 kilohertz emission. You can edit those waves. So, um, let me put it back to 190 kilohertz. Okay. So, let's see now. Um, is that kind of working? <laughs> What's happening? Measure frequency, yes, resolution, five digits. Can I go higher? Eight digits, six digits. Okay, so it's not measuring actually this, this one. So you could see, right? Um, I believe this counter is not having a good day today. Let's add it again. Um, oh, you can see the, the wave changing, right? You can see here, right? Look at this. So the counter is not as much. Uh, he, he's taking the peaks maybe or something else, but okay, let's get it back to 190 Hertz. No, not uh, not Hertz 190 Kilohertz, okay, so let's change the amplitude. Let's put it a volt here. So it's 518 one volt Yep One volt is larger now now I have to change scale Look at this. Let's trigger it again. Okay, so uh, I could um, get a higher amplitude, um, let's put it back to 518, uh, the offset I could, you know, make it zero, minus 9.4 millivolts, well, it doesn't matter, you see, so uh, this is pretty fun, right, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and, you know, use your MSO 5000 to load different signals, maybe are dangerous signals, right, uh, from, I don't know, tens of volts, uh, up to, actually, it's up to 10 volts here, right, uh, otherwise you won't be able to reproduce it, but anyway, um, put an attenuator or whatever for higher voltages, and you'll be able to reproduce it anyway, okay, so see you in the next one.